Hi, this is Ryan from Asuva. Today I wanted to demonstrate the responsive image map add-on that we've developed for Concrete 5.7. Now image maps are something that have been around for a long time for uh, HTML. They're great when you have an image and you'd like to create some hotspots that link to URLs so you can roll over that image and pick certain parts uh, to link to things. They're very handy in certain circumstances but there are two main issues in terms of modern web development that uh, standard image maps don't handle very well and one is that they aren't responsive so you resize the browser and a normal image map won't change the hotspot areas the second one is that they're actually quite fiddly to to build and code and these are two problems that we feel that we've solved with the add-on that we've developed and I'll demonstrate today so as an example we have a a very basic website here where we have some branches of a business and they're in different states so I'm going to add a an image map block here and I've already installed it I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to link to uh, an image file that I've already put into the file manager and it's a map of Australia with a few states already highlighted then the next step is that I'm going to say how many links that I want to link to at least to begin with and I'm going to say three and the step here is to add the block and we're actually going to edit it again to initialize these selectors. Now that we've got the three links that we can link up to, we can either link to a page, a file, or a URL. In this case, I'm going to link to the three pages. So I'm going to pick South Australia, Victoria, and Queensland. And then I can define the, the actual link area. So all I need to do is click and draw around and create nodes around the hotspot and I can actually drag and drop and move them around and I can right click to remove them that one's done let me do Victoria and I'll just do a very quick one here I can make that a little bit bigger I can actually move it around and finally we'll do Queensland you can see how quick this is as opposed to having to write these um, coordinates by hand and, and there we go we hit done, we hit save and publish and we'll now find that those areas on our image are actually linking through to the different things and it will follow the region that we've defined. But as I said this, this solution here is actually responsive so as an example if we move this block and put it into our sidebar here and save this even though we've shrunk down the image the hotspot has been shrunk as well corresponding so we don't have to worry about the size um, changing of the image we can have a fully uh, responsive uh, site so this could be on mobiles and the, you could resize the browser now and that will be fine now I'll finish up by explaining how we're actually achieving the resizing of this image map by default, the default view for the block is actually using an SVG technique. It's an SVG that acts as a container and inside that we put the image and then the hotspot regions over the top of that are actually SVG regions. Now SVG in browsers scales everything so we're not actually having to do any tricks as such to make this uh, responsive and resize. Uh, it's something that's supported in all modern browsers basically IE 9 and up so it's really the preferred way of handling image maps uh, in a responsive, responsive way however if you do need to support IE 8 um, or an older browser we do have an alternative uh, template custom template for the block and we just call this legacy support now if we put this in here and we move it around You'll see it behaves exactly the same way, it looks the same, it's got the hotspots over the top, uh, they work exactly the same way. However, this approach is actually using the normal HTML image map method with a, Java, a piece of JavaScript that handles the responsiveness. So as the browser resizes or the image shrinks, um, those coordinates of the hotspots are recalculated. So this works on pretty much all browsers where JavaScript is enabled. And I'll also note too that you can use SVG images in this block as well. You could pick that as well and define that. So you could have a true SVG approach to an image map which is very good for retina screens as well.